hey guys and welcome back to my video today i'm on my porch i have been working this weekend on a project so i did this project using just materials that i already had i think it cost me around six bucks to actually do this project and what i made was the layered door mats that you see on pinterest and i got my inspiration from pinterest so i'm going to be showing you how i did that so let's get started and i hope you enjoy this video so I wanted a striped rug on the bottom and I just looked around Pinterest and on the internet and I got my inspiration from there. I just took a piece of canvas drop cloth material which is something that I already had and it's very inexpensive. I measured out the dimensions on the canvas drop cloth and this rug that I'm doing today is actually 30 by 40 inches. And what I did was just fold it over in half that way I would have two pieces in equal size and I would only have to cut once. Then I just sewed around all the edges leaving a one half inch seam allowance. And when I cut this rug out, I did leave myself an extra inch on the dimensions for the seam allowance. So I sewed all the way around, leaving an opening so I could flip out the inside of my rug. Then once that was done, I sewed a top stitch along all sides just to finish it off and make it look a little bit more pretty. So I'm just using some cheap painter's tape and I'm starting on the edges and I'm measuring out the distance in between the stripes and I'm just making sure that the distance between all the stripes is the same all along the rug. So I just kept adding tape and putting the tape in the areas I wanted to stripe. And I kind of eyeballed these little thin stripes and they turned out fine. So I'm just using some Krylon um, indoor-outdoor paint and I use the indoor-outdoor paint because I am using the rug outdoors and if I want to wash it I can and I won't have to put any kind of special protecting over my paint and I actually did have to wash this rug before I posted this video because my pets got on it and it turned out fine, none of the paint came off. So then I just removed all of the tape from the rug. So for the top rug, I did have this burlap sack and I just folded over the opened edge and sewed it up with a zigzag stitch. 
Then I just used a stencil printed from my Cricut. I stenciled it using just plain black paint and I removed the stencil and that was it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, my name is Christy. I post videos like this at least once a week. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and check out more videos and I will see you in the next one.